Good morning, everyone. I have a question for you. What do you think your first word was when you were a baby? Do you know? What do you think, Paige? What was it? Dad. Dad? Yeah. What about you, Max? What do you think your first word was? Uh-oh. That's a gut one. Yeah. Ifta? Oh, instead of sister, it was Ifta. Cute. Anybody else? Mama, Dada. You probably also learned the word no pretty early on too, right? Yeah, I know I did. Did you know that the word no often is the first word that many kids learn? So one of the reasons that we learn the word no so quickly is because we hear it a lot as we're first learning. Renee, no running off. Renee, don't stand on the table. Renee, don't eat dirt. No, no, no. I mean, is it possible that your parents sometimes still says no to you right now? Yeah, yeah, I hear it too sometimes. I bring it up because in today's Bible story, Jesus tells his di disciples the word no, but he tells them for a different reason. He tells his disciples no to being angry that they can't and won't forgive a person. He tells them no to wanting something so badly that they can't stop, that they stop being thankful for things that they already have. And he tells them no to leaving friendships so that way they could be friends with other people. Now, do you think your parents tell you no to be mean or unreasonable? No, it's for a good reason. Parents tell a child no because they love them, just like God tells us no. Two, God wants what's for best for us, even if we don't understand it yet. So let's go ahead and do a repeat after me prayer, and then we're going to go to Kids Church and talk a little bit more. Dear God, thank you for Jesus, who teaches us how to live your better way. Thank you, God, for loving us. We love you, too. Amen.